Boy, I feel I can be making lots of videos out of this <laughs> app alone. Let me do a few more things. Uh, let's take a look at uh, from all these templates. Let's look at rule dependencies and see what do we have recommended in there. Let's do log source coverage by rule. Let me try that one. See what it is. Basically, uh, that will give me all the log source types, all the DSMs that Curator has. And I want to see what rules every one of those cover. And good to know there are 356 out of last night when this thing replicated. 356 DSM or parsers that I can take advantage of. That's actually pretty good. I'm wondering how many of these are I'm, I'm using. Well, it's as simple as going under my test conditions. Click here, expanding those, and check out of the 356 how many I'm using. I'm, I feel I have a lot of log sources in my system. Let me apply that filter and see how many I, do I get. 85. I really thought I had more. <laughs> so there should be, what, uh, 271 that I'm not taking advantage of. In fact, I can actually see those by on checking this one and checking this one and apply the filter. And that should give me those 271 I'm not taking advantage of. Yeah, and here they are. So let's uh, go back, let's remove this one, let's put that one, and let's actually, let's say that what I'm going to do now is I have a rule that fired, and I want to know where did I get that rule from, from which package, right? Because when I edit the rule, I don't actually see that. So let me actually type the name of the rule here successful login from a compromised host. That's a popular one. And notice that as, as I'm typing, the thing is doing the searching and reducing the, the search. So there are actually 55 log sources or DSMs, log source types, I should say, that fire with that. And I can, is this actually the the same rule on each and every one of them and I can click here and I actually see the name in fact whatever I click I'll, I'll just see the same the same uh, name right now but I want to see the package would that that what came or if it didn't come in a package maybe it was something developed at home and I know in this particular case I got this one for a package but I honestly don't even remember where this one came from so what I'm going to try to do is go here on the wheel and select here, scroll down, content extension name, and apply that. Uh, and I think that that is not true. I think this, this, this stuff is still thinking. Yep. And here are the results. And I can click everywhere. It's actually the, well, here are all the rules, but this is the one that I, was searching for because I don't have it here on the on that list and it is this package the IBM security threat content so this is a spectacular way of managing the most valuable asset in curator which are the rules uh, I'm sure I'm not I haven't even covered attempt to cover at MITRE which is spectacular it keeps getting better uh, but you can see that there are plenty of things that you can play along with and find the needle in the haystack of the rules. As you can see, it just in my demo system, I have 800. If I go back to the default template, uh, I, re I believe that I have 100 and 130 yeah, rules. And managing this, you know, it is not something simple unless you have this remarkable app.